Okay, we have Mike Moosey, and he is playing Dan, no, Mike Moosey versus, who are we playing here? Like Mike's won the flip. Yep. It's a race to three on the loser side. They both play even. Mike's breaking with my new Orange Crusher. Break you. Orange Crusher, baby. Go get one. Babiesproshop.com. See if he can make a ball. He nice. lost his cue ball, oh, but uh, they flew. The balls flew, but he's hooked on the one. This is a short race. You got to you got to get out right away. Get that first game. Very important. This is the owner of the Ice House, Mike Moosey. He's got a great pool room here. He's got, uh, sure let's see, I think he's got 12 bar tables, and he's got four big tables in the back room. Diamonds, all diamond tables. Awesome food, great staff. Oh, great food. Boy, right great off food. Route 80. Right. And uh, we've been having this tournament all weekend here at, at the Ice House Inn. Let's the uh, come and take it if you can get a tournament. It's a thousand dollar added. We've been uh, putting the pros and the amateurs together. Yep. This tournament, now the first tournament, um, it worked out a little different. Earl got knocked out the third round, and this this tournament, the second one, Earl is in the finals. Earl's going all the way. He's well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You never know the outcome of a tournament. Believe me. Yep. All right, he played a great safe there. A nice safe. Left it by the pocket. That's the only bad drawback to that. Mike's going to try and kick in this one. Two balls uh, on the other side of the table up from the one ball, so it's going to be a little hard to get position. Let's see what Mike does. He needs a good roll here. Well, I guess that's as good as they get, Alvin. Great shot. That was a shot. Great shot. That one will bring rain. All right, now we got the two ball, and then he's got to get to the three. He's just got to get between the eight and the nine. A lot of distance between the two, the pocket, and the cue in the pocket, and the two. So. Right. Well, I think he'd like just a little more angle. He's pretty. Yeah, yeah I don't really like. He's going to either have to hit it hard or follow it. Yeah, from this angle here, it looks a little bit of an easier shot than the other way. If he goes into the rail here, trying to stun it, he's going to have to hit it very firm to get it to get out to come out for the uh, past the eight. Oh my gosh, he drew it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the other way. Not that's pretty smart. Yeah. One thing about a bar table: make sure you get a sh get to shoot the next ball. This ball is going to be moving too much. I don't like it. See, he can tell. He knows too. Well, if he makes it and just uh, you know, nice stroke, he should come to the other side of the four and be fine. You got to hit this so soft. Yeah, if you're going to keep there you rail, go. rail, 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 the way to do there it. There you go. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Now he just follows this up for the six. He's got a little tough. He got out in the center of the table. He would have rather been a little bit over. He's got a stretch for this one now. Looks to me, let's see, I don't know if he's going to shoot it with, uh, sure is. He's going to shoot it with outside English, spin it in, and try to come around two rails for the seven. That's one way. Nope. High English, he's going to try and come straight up and down table and just get a shot on the seven. Little little inside, maybe. Mm -hmm. No, he's, he's outside. outside. He's got a nine ball to contend with I here. I saw him queuing outside, and I'm thinking, bad shot. He's I hooked. don't know. I don't know. He's hooked. He's got to go rail first. Is 
he hooked, Jared? No, no he's, he's got, got a shot. Okay. Well, that was a good. Yeah, he well, he had to slow roll it. Mm -hmm. You're right, he did go rail first, Alvin. It was a good call. Now he's got a long straight in. It's really hard to tell. I mean, like I've been saying, oh, yeah. again, you can have 100 cameras on the table and you're still not going to know. Even ESPN, with their production, you still can't tell. No, the not unless you get a level camera. You have to right. be. You got to have mobile camera. Right. A guy that knows how to film. He's got to just make this ball. Well, see, I think he might have just a hair of an angle. Yeah, look at how much space there is, too. And, it, and if he rolls too much towards the nine, he better make some distance or else he's going to have a cramped shot. Okay. Let's see what he does. We have uh, ProPool.com doing the scoring, the stats. And we're going to be putting in those those stats here. Soon well, Mike made run. a good shot on the eight. He sure did. He's about to go one up. One up, racing the three. And this here is for fourth place, which I believe is about uh, $200. Yeah, he got a little quick on that ball. He didn't take his time. The loser will get 200 The winner will get uh, three and a chance to advance. All right, first game's important. Mike Moosey, the owner of the Ice House Inn in Youngstown, Ohio, he's, he scored first. And now we really appreciate ProPool.com for doing the stats here. We have uh, we have Ron going to update us with the with the uh, scoring here shortly. Great. We'll have the average that they're shooting at. Here's another break coming from an orange crusher that Mike Mo Moosey's using. He well, just got it this tournament. He said it breaks good. About how great they are. It's what, 17 ounces? Uh, we made his right at uh, 18, but it's very adjustable. I love 18 Q. These particular cues here, they adjust from about 16 and a half to about 21 and a half. Wow. So there's a big range there to get whatever you want. Do you have like a weight system? Oh yeah, there's a great okay. weight system in it. Let's see, we've got a ball on the break, but I believe he's, he's hooked. hooked. Yeah. He's going to push out. It's where he's going to push to. Pushed out. He could get that Grim Reaper and jump this ball in. That Grim Reaper jump cue I have? Yeah. You can get over this ball and stay on the table. It's a tough shot, though. You know, I, I would imagine he's going to push, but. I'm sure it took spinning a lot of wood to get that uh, design. Well, People that. Are saying how great that is. That Grim Reaper works so well because it's so light that the whole cue is only eight ounces. Which enables you to hit down on it very hard without, you know, getting the cue ball to jump off the table. Well, your player representatives are Earl Strickland and Dennis Hatch, so I think you're probably doing something right if you got those two guys on your team. Well, they said they like my cues, so I've got to. I got to think I am doing something on the right track. We'll s I, I shot with Earl's cue today, and it is unbelievable how great it plays. He let, well, me, he let me hit a couple balls with it. You know, he's got that new SPT taper on it, and it's oh, uh, so actually nice. it's it's got no taper for 18 inches. It's the same size. All right, Mike pushed out. Oh, my gosh, he hit the eight, and now he's in dead trouble. He yeah, so he did not want to hit that eight ball. <laughs> Dan didn't even get out of his seat. He's like, oh, okay. Boy, oh, boy, I'll tell you what. He is in the soup now. Well, that right there will, like, uh, you know, make you lose a game. He's going to try and two-rail this. He's got to spin it past the side pocket. Oh, what did he do? I'm not sure. I he lost me on that one, okay. Alvin. Yeah. Well, we're here with uh, Inside Pool Magazine doing the live stream, and we have our our reporting team of J.R. Sally and myself here covering the event. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the magazine, it's a really great magazine. Sure is. And this uh, month's issue looks unbelievably good. I, I haven't uh, I haven't got a chance to read much. Nesla Hangarel from Turkey. Nesla Hangarel from Turkey. And, yeah, she's uh, beautiful. Unbelievable. <laughs> photo uh, the women pro players are really uh, they're really going to be doing good if if they uh, keep getting an inside pull like this girl did because her uh, her profile was great. The story was great. We got the best looking women in sports, don't we? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely.
No kidding. Jeanette Lee made the top 40 in 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 what, Jer? In the ESPN body issue, Jeanette made the top 40. How about how how great is that? Unbelievable. Five months after having a baby. Now that's like. Yeah, I I'd say so. <laughs> Did you see that shot, Alvin? He three railed a kick shot, made the made the uh, two ball, and got shape got on the shape. three. Well, Dan's that really was a to, shot. Dan's been playing his heart out, man. He he really wants to win. You know, I watched him play last match, and he made some spectacular outs. Sure My did. gosh. Oh yeah, that was a great match. That was great. This guy here, he's 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 putting in a thousand and one percent. Here. Well, I would think uh, he's going to cut this. No, it looks like he's shooting it in the corner. Stop his ball. Should be a routine out from there. Four, get a little straight in on the five. Roll down for the six. Eight, nine, you're out. It's all control from here. As long as he doesn't scratch and doesn't get too big an angle, I believe he's there. Yep, that's where he's got to be. I see Earl down there. He's waiting in the, uh, watching this match here. He's trying to assess his opponents. He don't know who's going to end up playing him in the finals. Yeah, he's sitting there watching. Yeah, he's watching very intently, too. He sure is. He's sitting quite a distance from the table, though. Absolutely. But he's used to being mobbed by people. Right. Yeah, we're going to all be at that U.S. Open next week. Absolutely. I'll be there, too. Yeah, it's going to be a great tournament. All the women are playing, or a lot of the women pros are playing. we got, from uh, what uh, Barry said, we're going to have 256 players. That'll be awesome. Oh, wow. We I'm got, telling you. It'll be um, JR, Sally, Jose, and myself for inside pool. Oh, yeah. And yeah. that should be great. Now, JR, I didn't know. what What's Sally? That, that's Sally's, a new name. She's the editor of the magazine. Oh, okay. Sally I got Timco. you. Yeah. All right. I'm with you. She's working. Oh, great. Always great. present. All right. She is That's the good. overseer. Got to have a good team. The true commander. Well, he got a bad roll sure there. Did. He ran into the nine, and he froze up on the six. He sure did. And he tied up the eight, nine. Is so. he froze? Yeah. He's He'd sure like to win this tournament, mm -hmm. win his own tournament.
He was breaking to win the match. He broke and got snookered. And that, What's he doing here? He's got a two ball. Me. I think it's on the side rail. No? No, the two ball straight in, isn't it? Okay, the four and the seven. Is he going to push? He can't push. No, he the, can he? he's got a shot. The four and the seven. Oh, I see. He's down there. The four I and the seven are his problem. So is two come back for the three, then the four, seven. I got no. it. I missed the two. It looks like the combination's pretty easy, really, unless it's sitting kind of funny there. Would you draw this back for the side or the corner? You know, I play more aggressive than these guys. They play. I, I'm going to get back further, that's for sure. Draw it for the side? I think I'd follow it. If it's followable, I'll, I'll follow the ball. Well. Too many crazy things can happen drawing the ball. He got a good know? roll there. Yeah, he did. He could have froze up on that ball. He sure could have. Or could have got it, you know, straight into the ball and had a really tough angle. Yeah. Looks like he's all right now. Yeah, he can draw, like he... the, draw to the side rail with Absolutely. some left bottom or just straight bottom and come back over. Yep. He needs a little angle for the 4-7 anyway, yeah, so he, does. he doesn't have to come all the way over. He would really want to stay. That's pretty good right there, middle table. Right there. Yeah. But, you know, this is a funny shot. Yes, you it is. You don't know what the four is going to do exactly. all the time. Exactly. You don't know how far it's going to bounce. And if it bounces on the other side of the cue ball, the six and eight are going to block it. So he's going to have to hit this with a little bit of uh, control, not so hard. The four is going to go cross table, I'm sure, unless it hits the cue ball. Right. And that's the key to this shot is uh, if you don't hit it hard enough, it won't get off this other rail. Right. The, 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 the rail so you opposite. think it'll get to the other side of the table? It looks like it's got the angle on it to go over. Looks like he's going to try and keep it there. No, you're right. Oh, you're right. exactly right. And that's what the problem with that shot right, right there. Right, right. But it looks like he's got a nice soft bank, though. Or right. cut in. He can cut it in the side, too, I think. But it's a tougher cut, looks like, than a bank. I mean, he's got to leave a little angle to get back on the six. I think if he just banks it in, draws it back a little bit. But I can't tell, really, how much angle there is on this cut. Oh, he's cutting it right in. No, I, I was right. The bank he followed it. I'm actually oh. uh, doing better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> the bank was the right shot. Here's what they're shooting at: 789 and 857. 789. That's their stats right now. Who's got 857? Okay. Dan Baloo. Dan Baloo's shooting at 857 right now. That ain't too bad. Courtesy of ProPool.com, 857. That's pretty impressive. We're getting ready to be on the hill here, Mike. Well, two, that's going to be hill hill. That's Don't right. take long to go on the hill here in this Not match. Not in this match. A, two race to three. <laughs> There's no room for dogging it in this game. You got to get up there and run out. And this is playing to see who's going to well, go on. Made a, he made some great jump shots. I'll say. All right. That looks a little elementary from here. He's just going to follow back down the table. That's what I would do. I would put these guys are afraid of the inside ball more than I am, though. Yeah, I is. like. I just hit this with inside and come back down. You know, these guys like going with outside more. He'll probably go back to the other side like that. Your inside and outside are about equal, aren't they? Right? I only. I don't shoot that ball like that. I always inside it. Right. I'm not afraid of that shot as much as the other players. I don't think. It's a little. It's a little easier to control the speed, isn't it? Well, you can miss the ball more with the inside, but I think the ball checks better off the rail. You know, when it making it come down. Right, right. So he well, could have played either way there, though. So it's. Well, this is for a hill hill match. He's got to make the nine. He's been breaking very well too. Shooting some high powered pool. Well, he's breaking well, but he's but he's coming close to scratching. The last break, he nearly he, the first break, he went in the side. Right. And that's what got him in trouble. So. Well, we got to well, right. He's up. breaking the balls good, but he's not really controlling his cue ball. And there ain't really nobody here controlling their cue ball, as far as what I've seen. The cue ball is trying to. Matter of fact, I think I've broke better than anyone. As far as I, you can't hit them too hard. I'll tell you yeah. that. Because right. that cue ball will fly back on you. You know what I mean? All right. Well, Dan needs a good break here to win this. He's going to hit them hard. This guy likes hitting them hard. Now, Dan, yeah. he parked Look at this. the he rock. Didn't make nothing. Look at that. How, that was a beautiful break, yeah, and he got like no like reward. The ball did. Absolutely nothing. God, if he makes a ball there, that would have been. He's almost dead center, right between the side pockets. Well, this it's no easy out. Oh, uh, no, the two ball. He's got to get the down. The eight and the nine are in a funny spot together. I don't know if the two goes by the seven. You know what I mean? Getting on the eight and the nine is going to be a little bit funny, I'm going to tell you. You're right. He's gonna, it looks like he's going to have to go two rails, whoever gets there. Or when maybe he goes three. from the seven to the, nine, to the eight. 
Believe right. me, it's going to be tricky. Tricky. Getting from uh, the one to the two is not going to be easy right now. Well, I, I, I think this is easier than that seven, eight. He's going to draw it, try to draw it past the side pocket. Oh, he missed it. Well. See, this is a tough out. They're going to they're gonna struggle with this one. Well, I should a little This is bit. where nerves come into effect. You know, this is for fourth. The winners are going to go on and be third and a chance to get to play in the final. So there's a little bit of money they're playing for, too. So I like these diamond bar tables better than the dynamos and the valleys. Yeah, they're, they, they're, they're more consistent. Yeah, you've got to play better pull on them. Just little a little tighter, more pull. consistent. The rails are better. I'll tell you, when they make the pockets a little bit smaller than these, they're really tough. Tough. All right, you got to play good. All right, he's got a good shot on the two. Looks like he's got to draw back and shoot the three in the uh, opposite corner from the seven. Hmm. I don't know what he's I looking at. My up. CSI sponsor's listening. Uh, Mark Griffin, I'm sure he appreciate that. Did I? I like these diamond bar tables. Absolutely. I won the United States eight ball on them too. <laughs> I saw that, Earl. I saw you in the last match. So, I got to like a table that, that you know. Plays good. Plays a little bit tough. Mm. You know? Uh-oh. That's, that's a funny spot. I didn't like. Well, he was, he had nothing he could do anyway there, could he? I guess he's going to play the combination. The carom. He looks he's looking at a carom. Or a safety. Wow. Safety. He didn't get there. He left him straight in the side. Oh, no. That was a major, major, bad, bad decision. He plays a little quick, don't he? Well, I think you he got that. a spot there, and he just he got frustrated. Tried to do it something real quick. Remind me of Luke Salvas there a little bit. Got a little quick and made a careless mistake. Luke's a great player, but he does that, and I, I think it keeps him from winning. Like you said, oh. this out here is tricky with the eight and nine. Well, wait, the ball won't go on the side. So yeah, sure. It will. Oh, it does. Sure. I thought the four is blocking it. Absolutely. Yeah. It looked like it barely went though. Oh, he didn't have he didn't have a whole pocket. I think he made a good shot there. Sure did. You know what? I wonder if he could make the five and break out the eight nine and still come up with a shot on the six. Well, it's possible. Well, you know, uh, he might be better off to slow roll this and try that right now. That's but what he's he going to go do. around the table. He's Crazy. underhit that a little Crazy. bit. Crazy. He under see the nerves are really setting in now. Yes, yes they are. You know, it's the last game. It's the hill, and it's a tough pattern. So. Tough out. The, these guys are uh, going to fill it a little bit. Mike's shooting pretty quick. He's following. He's going forward. He likes he likes to follow the ball. He, he slow rolls him good. Now here's a shot. He could bust it out, and the seven's in front of the this pocket. This is actually the prudent play. I think he should go into the nine. Right. Right. And if he doesn't stick on the rail. I mean, he, surely he can get a shot somehow I don't think to he get is. back. He did. He did a great shot. That was a good shot. But he's still got to get on that bottom rail. He's a little rail. funny here. If he's straight in on this ball, I'm going to tell you what, he's going to have a tough time getting back. He's got to draw it all the way to the back now He's rail. got a little bit of an angle. I can see it from this view. See, he's looking. He's got to get down there. He's got to get all the way back, too, right? Uh, I don't think Mike will follow this. He's going to have to draw it. It's a tough ball to follow and get around because it'll, it'll reverse on you off yep. the second rail. Yep. You know what I mean? A little bit. He catches that, that forward spin and kind of slows down. The only coming. guy I think could follow this from there would be Neville or something. <laughs> Neville. Maybe me. Kitchen sink shot or two I could hit. could get it around with the follow. Think Efren could get there? It's tough. Tough. Sometimes when the ball sits like this, it reverses off that second rail, and you can't get that momentum. Looks like he, is he drawing it. I think he is. Yeah, he had to draw uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, my God. gosh. He had no choice. Well, there you we go. You know what? He actually should have drew that to the side. Yeah, he could have drew out yeah. of it a different way. That's a shame. Well, there there goes Mike Moosey. Good, good. That was a good finish for Mike. He ended up finishing fourth to Dan Ballou. Dan's going to go on and play. Um, let's see. Who's in the uh, – who'd you play last, Earl, that you beat? Who? Ryan Ward. Ryan, that's right, Ryan Ward. So he's going to play I Ryan Ward. I can't believe Ward. I beat that guy. He's a good player, giving him two games. And I scratched on the first break. I said, it's over. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know what happened? He broke bad. He, that's how I won the match. No, he didn't make nothing. Uh, once, he didn't make anything. And then he, uh, 
What else? Uh, he got snookered. He got unlucky a little bit well, on the break. I'll tell you what, whoever you I play, you got Earl, snookered twice and, and, and didn't make nothing once. Whoever you play, you got to give up two games on the wire. Yeah, it's pretty obvious from here, ain't it? You got, it's going to be a tough match for you. This guy here, uh, he's a good player. He's got some firepower. He's got a nice stroke. Sure does. It's smooth, ain't it? I scratched on the break yesterday playing him, and he hit me with a two-pack. Got on the hill before I ever yeah. got to make a ball. He can play. What were you giving him, a game? Two. You giving him?